Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 Instagram business ideas for 2017. These are business ideas that can help you make a part-time or full-time income. These aren't just ways to make money on Instagram where you might make a few extra bucks per month. Um, these are legitimate business ideas that you can live on if you scale them up and you work them properly. So the first one I want to show you is when you build up and sell Instagram accounts. So what you can do, this is all online based, you can sell Instagram accounts that have a lot of followers. So many brands are looking to buy Instagram accounts to get in front of a lot of people quickly without having to go through the work of starting from the bottom and working their way up. So there's a few sites you can do this on. Viralaccounts.com is a great place where you can actually sell just about any type of social media account. As you can see on here, they have Facebook, Google+, Snapchat, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram happens to be on there as well. They prefer at least 40,000 followers. Um, they want a major account that really gets a lot of engagement. Doesn't have any suspensions or warnings or any kind of shady material on the profile. And it needs to have a lot of activity. So you need to have a lot of new followers coming in all the time. You want to have people commenting on your post. You need to be posting daily. Things like that will help you get it sold faster and make it more appealing to people who want to buy the account. But viralaccounts.com is a great place to sell your Instagram account. And if you have a lot of followers, at least 40,000 or so, you can sell it on there. Or you could go to a site like fameswap.com. And this is just another online marketplace where you can buy and sell social accounts. Instagram of course happens to be one of the supported platforms that you can sell accounts for so people who want to buy popular accounts especially for Facebook and Instagram will go to fame swap or if you want more choices you might go to viral accounts but as far as Instagram goes it works great on both of them or you can sell it privately without going through these sites but this will be much easier and much faster and you'll get in front of more people this way so you might start flipping Instagram accounts and as a side note before I get to the next business idea I'm gonna have all the links that I mention all the show notes all the related content all the resources I talk about in one page on selfmadesuccess.com you can find the link to that page in the video description don't worry about copying all these links down Number two, product placement and sponsored posts. So if you build up your Instagram account, you can start selling sponsored posts. There's a few places you can do this. And a sponsored post is like when you see a celebrity, for instance, post an image and they happen to, you know, be wearing a certain type of shoe that you can see very well in the picture or they're using a certain type of supplement that you'll see in the picture. Um, things like that are usually sponsored posts or product placement. A lot of times celebrities aren't just randomly doing Instagram posts to promote something they just bought. In many cases they're getting paid to do it because a big following with a lot of loyal fans can get a lot of sales for a product. So companies will pay you if you have a lot of followers to actually post an image with their product in it so that's a sponsored post a few places you can get a sponsored post for Instagram specifically are fourcard.com you can see how it's f o h r card.com um, that's one place you can go like I said, I'm going to have all the links for you in one page, so don't worry about copying all this stuff down right now. But it's a great platform for um, quality 
sponsored posts for Instagram and places like that. So if you're an influencer or if you're somebody who wants to do a campaign, this is one of the places you go. Another one that you can do this with is in is uh, influence.com. It's kind of a weird spelling, but you can promote your brand on there. You can get sponsored posts from other companies that want to get in front of your audience here and they'll kind of show you how it works and everything but those are two great sites for getting sponsored posts meaning you just get a company to pay you to include their product in your image and sometimes you may even get free samples and stuff of the product if they're just really excited about getting in front of your fan base so it has its perks if you want to market your account better and get enough followers to really get a lot of these sponsored posts and get paid more per sponsored post as well as build up enough followers to actually be able to start selling your accounts so like I said, about 40,000 followers or more, you can start selling accounts. I have a few videos you might want to watch on YouTube that are on this same channel, Justin Bryant, and it will tell you how to get your first 10,000 Instagram followers. I'll show you uh, some Instagram marketing tips, some strategies. Uh, I talk about your account and your profile tips that will make you more attractive on Instagram. Those types of things will really help you build up your account faster. So I recommend those videos. And like I said, of course, I'll have links to all this stuff for you. Number three, sell your photography. So if you like taking images, whether you're a professional or not, you can just be a total amateur who has a lot of pictures on their phone. And you can actually sell these on apps but you might promote them on Instagram. So if you see pretty much any Instagram account, you see all kinds of photos. Um, some are more professional than others, but you might sell these photos or promote them on your Instagram account. And then you can sell them on sites like Fope or Clashot, which are both actually apps. These apps can be downloaded for uh, iPhone or Android device and they allow you to basically upload your smartphone images directly to their app and sell them from there without even having to leave your smartphone. So it's a lot easier than say getting approved for iStock Photo or Shutterstock or a place like that where you might sell some good stock photography but there's going to be more competition, there's going to be a lot of rules and applications and things like that, but Fope and Clashot are two apps that you can use to sell any photos you may have on your phone and with Fope you get about five dollars per photo sale. You can look at that on their website, five dollars each time and it, each photo can be sold an unlimited number of times and class shot you uh, have a little more flexibility in terms of price but um, you can sell it for up to eighty dollars or as little as fifty cents so they have kind of a third party that they work with that gets your photos sold so if you want to sell photography whether you're a professional or not you can use those two apps and promote them on instagram Number four, you can showcase and sell your art or handcrafted items. So a lot of people now are starting to sell stuff that they used to do just for a hobby. This is like art, prints, even photography, um, sculptures, handcrafted jewelry and things like this on places like Etsy. Another place you can do this on is Amazon Handmade. So you might if you're on Etsy or even have an eBay store where you sell art and other handcrafted items, you can also sell on Amazon Handmade. I know a lot of people are hearing about this for the first time. They may not know Amazon Handmade as a top competitor 
with Etsy and eBay for handcrafted products, but they're getting up there and it's dedicated just to those types of products. So you want to sell them in as many places as you can to get the most money. But you can promote this stuff on your Instagram page. You have images of stuff you've created. You have all kinds of angles of it that make it look good. You can change different lighting on it. You can show satisfied customers in different images that maybe are unboxing your product or maybe even videos where they're unboxing the product on Instagram. That is just another great way to promote your art and handcrafted items. So I recommend Etsy, Amazon Handmade, and sites like this with your Instagram account if you sell any kind of handmade art and other items like that. Number five, affiliate marketing. Okay, so affiliate marketing, you can go to sites like ClickBank or Amazon also has a very popular affiliate program called Amazon Associates affiliate program where you can earn up to 10% commissions on anything for sale on Amazon. ClickBank is more of a private type of affiliate marketing place where uh, vendors may not be as well known as of course a big brand like Amazon but the thing is you can in many cases get bigger commissions you get 50 even 75 percent commissions on some of these products and they can be expensive products or they can be cheap products or they can be membership products where you get paid monthly but if you sign up with sites like these you can promote the products you can promote people using the products have images of what it looks like images of what it's like to use it what customers are saying about the products and things like that and then on your profile for instance you could have a link here to the product page or a page that has multiple products maybe your blog for instance and that can get you commissions on products and allow you to make a nice income from Instagram so affiliate marketing always a great option when it comes to any online business but it can also be used with Instagram as well number six you can showcase and sell your services so whatever services you provide whether you're more of a freelancer maybe you have an account on Fiverr or Upwork and you do say editing services graphic design services Graphic design would be great for Instagram. Uh, video animation, also great for Instagram because they allow videos. You can do, um, if you sell digital marketing services, music. Um, you could do videos on Instagram where you display your music that you do for other companies. Things like that can really build your brand and make you more money. You would actually get paid through the site that you're selling this stuff on. Maybe it's your own website. Maybe it's Fiverr. Fiverr is always one of the best freelancing sites to start with. Upwork is more of a high-end site with bigger clients, but you have to really build up your profile and your experience on there to get a lot of jobs. But you can sell whatever service you're selling on Instagram and promote it there as well. Just show customers that are happy with your services. Show kind of some behind-the-scenes stuff with your company. Show products that are finished for people and things like that so you might get into say interior design services let's say you're an interior designer you might show some of your finished products like some rooms that you've done for people maybe even with the people in the image smiling of course happy with the results so something like that maybe you if you do graphic design, if you do interior design, if you do writing services, whatever your services are, you can find creative ways to post images and videos that help build your brand and get you more clients. Number seven, you can do real estate. So obviously real estate is a huge business. Many people make millions of dollars with real estate, but 
it surprises me how limited people are in their clients because of their lack of traffic. So you could sell real estate extremely quick, um, extremely fast, if you really leveraged social media on top of, say, sites like Zillow and other real estate sites. Um, you can do all kinds of different things to help you get more clients and get more home sales much faster. You might post pictures of the rooms and create a hashtag for a specific house. You could just list the house specifically in there. Um, you could do all kinds of different things to just display what the house looks like, which houses are available, to make yourself look like a better real estate agent, you can put signs on some of the images that say sold and things like that to show that, yeah, you actually do get business and you might be a good realist, realtor to work with. So just examples, you can post images of the rooms, images of the exterior, the interior, sold houses, houses that are still on the market and things like that and you can get a lot more business for yourself that way than maybe you would have in the past just relying on sites like Zillow or Trulia or other sites that are good for real estate. Number eight, you can sell your cars and display them on Instagram. So another thing you can do, of course, say eBay Motors, for instance. You might sell your cars on Craigslist, you might have your own dealership, you might sell them on eBay Motors, and that's great. But you can also use Instagram as well because there are so many users on Instagram, hundreds of millions of people are on Instagram, and this can be another way to get in front of people much faster because really to find cars on say eBay Motors and Craigslist and places like that, it's one of those things that people have to actually be searching for it already. And it might not be as great of an experience to do that on their smartphones as it is to get home and get on their computer and search with all these detailed um, searches and refined results. So instead of relying on people to do that, come find you, you can get in their feed on Instagram and show them the latest cars you have for sale. So maybe past customers that like doing business with you and buying cars from you will see that you have something for sale that they want or people who haven't bought a car from you before might see some great cars or things like that. You can just post pictures of whatever cars you have for sale, much like I was showing you with interior design and real estate you could have the interior, exterior, wheels, anything that you need to show in images of your cars. You could have them on Instagram and then you could sell them. You could have a link to your profile. For, in, for instance, you would have your link right here where people can go and see the page or the pages of cars that you have for sale and then maybe come by and look at buying them. So just getting traffic for just about any business is great on Instagram and the image aspect of it really captures people's attention as well as videos. You can do videos as well. You don't want to forget about those. So sell your cars if you're doing any kind of car sales even if you're not a dealer and you're selling cars just to um, upgrade or because you just need to get rid of a car, Instagram can be a great way to do that. Number nine, you can have a blog or YouTube advertising business from AdSense. So AdSense is Google AdSense. That's how Google pays YouTubers and bloggers to have ads on their site. So Google AdWords has one of the biggest ad platforms of all companies because they're you know, the number one search engine in the world. YouTube happens to be the number two site in the world now. They actually passed Facebook and they are owned by Google. So you can imagine how big their advertising platform is with the rise of YouTube on top of Google. 
So for instance, you can have a site like Entrepreneur, for example. You can tell they make quite a bit of money off ads. They have an ad right here. You go on pretty much any article on here, you'll see ads at the top. As they load, they're taking a little bit to load right now, but um, you'll see ads usually up here. You'll see an ad on the right side in the sidebar. There it is right there. So there's two ads right there that they're making money off of. And AdSense is a big is a big platform that typically does this type of stuff. There's another ad on the sidebar. So sites like this, big sites like TechCrunch as well, and other sites, Huffington Post, they make a lot of money off of just ads. And YouTubers as well. Of course, you look at YouTube videos, typically there'll be like a miniature commercial before the YouTube video starts. That's how a lot of YouTubers make their money. That's how they sustain their income, and that's how they make a living. So you can do that as well. You can have a YouTube channel. You can have a blog with ads. You can have both. And you can post images, videos, and things like that on Instagram, promoting your brand, and then have a link to your brand here. So when you give them a call to action, say, in the image, telling them to go to your website for in the or go to your website in the description or in your Instagram account description whatever you want to call it on your profile and they can find maybe some bonus content some free products and things like that so give them a reason to go to your website and then have your website easily accessible from your profile and then promote your latest blog post by putting the featured image and uh, maybe a taste of what the blog post is about. Maybe upload your every few YouTube videos directly to Instagram and tell them to go to your YouTube channel for more. And things like that can really grow your brand and make you a lot of money just from advertisements where you don't even have to sell anything. Number 10, network marketing. Okay, last but not least, you can make money from network marketing which is somewhat similar to affiliate marketing so I always recommend people go to MLMrankings.com to find different types of network marketing companies um, just to name some of the top ones we have Avon we have Beachbody we have Advocare Herbalife Mary Kay Pampered Chef so there's all kinds of companies that cover different types of industries. So for instance, Pampered Chef is all about cooking. Mary Kay is all about cosmetics and makeup. Herbalife is all about nutrition. And Beachbody, of course, working out, nutrition. So these types of businesses not only allow you to sell their products and earn a commission, they also allow you to recruit people and make money off of their commissions. So you kind of build a small organization within an organization with network marketing. You might make more money this way. Now keep in mind sometimes you have to pay a little money to start with these companies because they are a business and they're trying to make sure that the people that sell their products are serious and legitimate people. So you might have to pay a startup fee to get started selling these products unlike you would with affiliate marketing but it can be well worth it if you recruit a lot of people or if you just get a lot of commissions from product sales so for instance if you want to do network marketing you might look at say Herbalife on Instagram for instance over 500,000 followers and they have a link to a website of theirs and they have all kinds of videos and images of their products, people using their products, people working out, you know, things that are very related to their brand and um, how their products can really change your life. And that can be a great way to promote your website, promote yourself as a sponsor for your network marketing company and get you a lot more sales and a lot more recruits. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned something that might help you as far as starting an Instagram business, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. If there's something that you thought I left out of the video, maybe another way to start a business on Instagram that I forgot to mention, 
or if you want to just let me know what you thought about the video overall, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'm always looking for feedback to improve these videos to make them more helpful for you. So I'm always looking to see what you have to say. And also, like I mentioned earlier in the video, all the links that I mentioned, all the resources and video notes and related content to this video specifically will all be on one page for you on selfmadesuccess.com under the same title as the video. You can also find a link to that page in the first couple sentences of the video description. So you can go there for all the links, all the resources, all the content you need. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.